Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the booktube watching tag. So this was created by Harriet Rosie, and I was tagged by the bibliotherapist after, I think I, I think I commented on the original video being like, I cannot wait for someone to tag me on this. And then nobody did until the bibliotherapist kindly gave me some bibliotherapy. So on that note, let's get going. There are 10 questions. Yeah, there are 10 questions and then an optional 11th, which of course we'll do. So question one, how many channels are you subscribed to? I can't give you an exact number, probably, I reckon between two and three hundred, something like that. Uh, basically, I used to watch like every video religiously, but then I also never commented and like took part in the community. I suppose I had people on this kind of background noise. And then once I started my channel and started taking part in the community, I found all these new channels, which is great, loads of new people to subscribe to, loads of shout out videos and all this kind of stuff. But it's very difficult to keep on top of people. So I had to change my style of watching. So instead of watching every video and never commenting, I sort of now watch the videos that interest me and always comment. So there we go. Question number two, when do you normally watch BookTube? So I basically sit here with my computer, which is over there, and then the big TV, which is there. And uh, in fact, shall I show? Oh no, I can't show you, it's a mess. Yeah, I will sit here during the daytime and during the nighttime, mostly during the night, because I'm a night owl and I'll watch booktube on the TV while doing some work and yeah and then in my my breaks I uh, leave comments and chat to people and stuff because I'm self-employed so I work from home so when back in the day when I used to work for somebody else I used to still watch booktube like during the nine to five while working but I just had it on headphones and stuff question number three how do you balance booktube watching reading and making your own videos this question is kind of funny because it's like how do you balance watching reading and making videos and i'm like well actually the thing i do the most is writing i mean watching like i said i'll just have it on in general in the background whilst working also in the evening potentially uh, after becca has gone to bed reading i read throughout the day i have breaks built in it's actually from where when i used to smoke i've quit smoking and i'm now on like 20 two days but uh i used to read whilst having a cigarette so i now build in those cigarette breaks into my day except i don't smoke i just sit there and read so i do that i also read a little bit before bed anytime i'm on public transport or anything like that so sometimes audiobooks too so that's for the reading and as for making my own videos i just sort of film them sporadically and then and then edit them when i get chance i've actually recently started specifically editing when I know I've got like a bunch of videos I want to comment on or something like that. So I'll take a break during my working day, spend 10 minutes editing whilst and you know leaving these comments or answering comments on my videos and uh, then get back to work. So that's working pretty well for me. Question number four, is there a difference between videos you like watching and videos you like making? Part of it comes down to actually the editing. So filming is one thing. For example, filming, I really enjoy filming my bookshelf tours, but they're a massive pain to edit. I think if anything, I probably make more reviews than like reviews would be up there that I enjoy making them more than watching other people's. I like watching reviews, but when there are books that I've not heard of, as soon as everyone's posting reviews of the same book, then I'd lose interest. So. I don't know. Did that answer the question? I don't think it did, but whatever. Question number five. Who is the first booktuber you subscribe to and do you still watch them? For me, it was probably Missy from Binge Reader. And yes, I do still watch her. So she's... the re Well, the reason that she stands out as one of the, at least one of the first ones is because she has great taste in Stephen King books and she's been collecting all the Hodder books as well. I mean, I, yeah, I still watch her. I, she's one of my favourite sort of larger channels, I suppose. Because I think she's one of the people who... She's built her channel just through hard work, I think, rather than, I don't know, uh, some of the other ones that just seem to be popular. Like, I'm sure Missy has posted more videos and longer videos than a lot of the popular channels for as long as they've been doing it. So, you know, kudos to her for that. Question number six, who is the most recent booktuber you subscribe to? So I don't know his name, but it's Wolfshot Publishing. And this is because uh, I think it was, on, it was on the May Cave and Megan had shared... She was reading a book by the guy who runs Wolfshot Publishing and the booktube channel. So I checked out his channel and subscribed to it. And he is very funny. He's <laughs> like, he's posted a lot of skits that I was watching that I really enjoyed. And so uh, I don't think I've yet seen, because this was like yesterday. So I don't think I've yet seen any of like his more recent videos. I just saw the few that I happened to, you know, I flicked back all the way back in time through his videos. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what he's got there. 
Question number seven. Share an old favourite booktuber. I'm not saying she's old, but she's an old favourite. That'd be Kit Kats Can Read. For a similar reason to Missy from Binge Reader, I think I subscribed to both of those around about the same time. And, um, yeah, I've just really enjoyed her channel. Again, because I think it's because she's British. Yeah, she's British and she reads, reads some weird books. Like She does read YA, but she also reads some like really obscure, like... And also books from my childhood, I think, like Horrible Histories and stuff, which she hasn't read recently, but, you know, that kind of stuff. A lot of books that I used to see in my high school library. <laughs> Question number eight, share a new favourite booktuber. But I don't know. I don't know if I have, like, a new favourite. Because I think that's the thing. I think a lot of the reasons that my favourites are my favourites are because I've been watching them for quite a while. Or at least for, like, three to six months plus. A new favourite booktuber. Maybe Wolfshot Publishing again, because I've only just discovered him. That's the best I've got. Question number nine. What is one of your booktube pet peeves? Not including the books that you're talking about in the description of the video. I've had people thank me on my videos being like, oh, thank you for mentioning them. But, uh, I mean, it helps as well. Like, for example, if someone's doing a wrap-up, it helps to know these are the vi these are the books they're going to talk about and this is the order because then I can be like well number four sounds good oh I've been wanting to read number seven number eight I read that it was awful you know so you can kind of it gives you more context as a viewer and also from a creator point of view that's going to help you get picked up by search engines and stuff as well so just just do that start putting your you know yeah question number ten what have you learned from watching other booktubers well I mean I can't think of any specific lesson it's more like I've learned that this book is coming out in this month or you know i i learned what insta love meant i guess I, th I think that's been bothering me for years and it wasn't until really starting booktube seriously that that i started noticing it everywhere let's go with that that's an answer question number 11 tag some of your favorite booktubers so recently i've just been going into my comments list and just picking out three recent people so i'm gonna tag lou g books in every room and biblio filth so there we have it. And that's it for the booktube watching tag. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you watch any of the channels that I've mentioned. I don't know why my hand's doing all of this stuff. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.